Christians, we begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Sing with us. Alleluia. Jesus is our Lord and our God. Hebrews 11, verse 1. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. After Jesus rose from the dead, his disciples were gathered together. The disciples! Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, the other two. Jude, Simon, and today is all about Thomas. I oh my God! Oh, uh, weren't there twelve disciples? Oh uh, wait, Judas was the one who betrayed Jesus. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came, stood among them, and said, "Peace be with you." After he said this. He showed them his hands inside. The disciples were overjoyed when he saw the Lord. The doors are locked so no one can get in here. Peace be with you. Again, Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that, he breathed on them and said, We receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. We have seen the Lord. Wait, where's Thomas? He's really missing out. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, Hi, Hi Thomas. Hi, Joe. Hi. <laughs> what did I miss? We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, <laughs> Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side and I... I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. 
my Lord and my God. Then Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. What are some unbelievable things you can do? I can play the ukulele. Down it. I could go farther than Tom Brady. I doubt that could really happen. I can throw two batons at the same time. I'll believe it when I see it. I can do a double 90 degree kick turn on a vert ramp. Are you sure? I've never seen that. I can do a scorpion. I doubt that that can really happen. I can juggle the soccer ball. I have to see that to believe that. Jump like a horse. I doubt that. I can call my shot. Prove it. That's the good. There we go. What? I can totally make the shot. I'll believe it when pigs fly. What a surprise to see what some of you can do. Sometimes people have to see it to believe it. I'll show you. Wow, we have some incredible talents. But what Jesus did was a miracle. The disciples could trust him because they knew him. Jesus had told the disciples to stay together after he was crucified, so that's what the disciples did. But Thomas did not listen. He didn't stay together with the other disciples. And because Thomas was not there with the other disciples, Thomas missed out. He missed seeing the resurrected Jesus. Then when he found out he missed, he got upset and told the other disciples, I don't believe you. I don't believe that you saw resurrected Jesus. But guess what? Thomas learned from his mistake. Thomas rejoined the disciples, and because he rejoined the disciples, we hear that Thomas then had a second chance and saw resurrected Jesus. The same that was true for Thomas was true for us. Or when we forget or lose attention to Jesus, we are given second chances. Did you just see that? Say he did a fast no. job! No, I want to see it! I want to see it! I want to see it! 
Thomas is often called Doubting Thomas because he said he wouldn't believe that Jesus had returned to the disciples after the resurrection until he saw and touched Jesus. Thomas wanted to know the truth and he looked for answers from Jesus who could answer his questions. Jesus can answer our questions too. When Thomas recognized Jesus, he said, My Lord, my God! I wonder what made Thomas believe that Jesus was God. Ordinary people don't come back to life. Maybe all the things that Jesus told them suddenly made sense. Was Jesus mad that Thomas didn't believe? Jesus offered to help them believe. Could we expect Jesus to help us? Where is Jesus? When you look around, where can you see Jesus? We learn about Jesus through school, church, the Bible, and other believers. Even though we have not seen Jesus, we can believe in him. It's normal to have doubts, but you can ask for help. Jesus helps us to have faith. What did Jesus say about the people who have not seen Jesus? John chapter 20 verse 29, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. How are we like Thomas? Sometimes we think we need to see in order to believe. How blessed are we, the ones who never haven't seen, yet have come to believe. Open our hearts in faith. Though we haven't seen the risen Christ, help us to believe in him. We confess that we far too often want proof for everything. We want proof that someone loves us. We want proof that we can trust others. We want proof that everything in life is going to turn out all right. It is easy for us to point our finger at Thomas, who was honest about his fears. He had seen so much healing and hope, but those hopes seemed dashed when Jesus died. Even the news of the re resurrection did not completely lift the darkness from his life. Jesus said to him, just as he says to us, Peace, be still. Do not doubt, but believe. Jesus said to them, and Jesus says to us, Peace, be still. Do not doubt, but believe. Let us pray. Lord, forgive our, our unbelief. Forgive the many times when we think and act in ways which are hurtful and mean. Heal our wounds, help us to fully place our trust in you with our whole hearts and minds and spirits and souls. For we ask, ask this in your blessed name. Amen. Please stand with us to sing one way. One way! Jesus, you're the only one that I Double times it's you, I 
last basket. Our April offerings are going to our Lutheran Church Charities Comfort Dogs Ministry. Christ has risen. He has risen indeed. Hallelujah. Please pray with us the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. St. Paul, Jesus loves you. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus, we can't believe it's okay. <laughs> <coughs> to have faith. Say that last line again. <sighs> Just say it a little bit louder. <laughs> Lutheran Church Ministry Charities. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> at us, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Hold on, fix your hair. Hold on. There you go. Okay. All right, ready? Is it? Hope seemed dashed, and I am. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Just speak slow, clear. Go. But what Jesus did was a miracle. Oh come on! But what Jesus did? But what Jesus did is a miracle. Twelve cycles. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. I keep forgetting his name. <laughs> Can you say a little more? A little more. Impossible. I will not believe. I will, I will not believe. Oh hi, Thomas. Hi. <laughs> 